Hey everybody, Brian Foote here. Welcome back. I wanted to cover the question, why investing in the stock market is a bad idea. Uh, this, isn't, uh, this isn't a game I'm playing with you. I want to go through reasons why an investment in the stock market may be a very bad thing. The first one is clearly tied to temperament. If you don't have the ability to stomach a decline in your net worth as it's measured in the stock market, uh, then, then, then you should not be investing. It's a bad idea. Uh, the reason is this. Uh, the, the market is filled with emotional people who react to short-term swings. Uh, if that's you, then uh, that's another reason why you should not be in the stock market. Um, but it's filled with people who, for various reasons, will sell stocks at lower prices possibly than you paid for them. In other words, let's say you've done all the work on a particular stock and you put 10% of your, your net worth into that stock and uh, the market decides over the coming weeks that that, that stock is really uh, supposed to be trading 20% lower. Uh, that decision is made in the short run based on some kind of extrinsic factor which you didn't take into consideration or you looked at as a possibility but not a high probability. Either way, uh, your 10% position has been uh, taken down by 20% and your net worth, uh, all else being equal, is 2% lower in just a couple of weeks. If you can't stomach that feeling, uh, the stock market is, is not for you because while there are no guarantees, uh, one thing I can tell you is that uh, the market can and does swing pretty heavily. Uh, the volatility is often uh, higher than, than than a typical person can stomach. One way people make up for uh, for that or the, uh, offset that is to have a more diversified portfolio. Right, ten percent positions are uh, are considered undiversified by many. Um, maybe you want to go into an index fund and uh, and and mimic. Uh, the stock market over time. The, the, the only thing I can say about diversifying that way is that while you won't ever be subject to individual stock uh, risk, really, I mean, if you buy the S&P 500 index, uh, the, the, the weightings uh, by definition are so small that an individual stock really can't hurt your net worth. The flip side, what you're giving up in doing that is, uh, the peace of mind that you're getting from it, of course, is, is a benefit. What you're giving up is the ability to have uh, over the intermediate term uh, the kind of returns that a lot of people uh, brag about. Uh, often they brag about them from a basis of, uh, uh, of, of, of make-believe. Uh, in, in other words, uh, the, the, the other thing that, that should stop you from uh, considering an investment in the stock market is having a heavy feeling of envy. Because what'll happen is you'll run into people at cocktail parties at the country club or wherever you like to hang out, and they'll only talk about their winners. Um, that will drive, um, and that's human nature, but that will drive some of the more envious people to make irrational decisions, right? You, you hear Bob at the, at, at the club or, or Mary down at the uh, uh, down, down at your kid's school uh, just bought this amazing company uh, and it went up fivefold or they're invested in uh, cryptocurrencies, which I do not recommend. And they're just singing the praises of, uh, of their great investment acumen. If you are prone to uh, listening to those type of people, that, that may also be a, a bad reason to be in the stock market. Um, so we, we're talking about, in all of these cases, human nature. Uh, you don't like temporary losses. You don't like volatility. You don't like listening to people who uh, tend to brag about their winners and uh, uh, suppress discussion about their losers. Uh, you, you need to, and this is going potentially to date me, but certainly characterize me uh, toward the nerd end of the spectrum, behave like Mr. Spock uh, from, from Star Trek. Uh, Spock was highly uh, logical, right? Uh, offsetting uh, Captain Kirk's tendency to be a little bit more emotional and shooting from the hip. But when you consider the way Spock went out uh, at uh, his, uh, his mission, uh, Spock often um, went, uh, would have been a great investor, I think, 
Uh, but Spock was suppressing, because he was half human, for those of you uh, who are, are real Trekkies like me, he was half human. He was constantly trying to suppress the human nature to get the mission done. Uh, and anyway, that, that's what you should be doing, tending towards Spock. Occasionally, uh, the market does give you an opportunity to behave like Kirk. Uh, in other words, uh, you know, put, put, put yourself into warp factor nine and, uh, you know, get, get going. But if you are, have the tendency like Spock to be rational and to be um, focused on solving the problem and less prone to the human side of things, uh, you'll do pretty well. Uh, anyway, those are some reasons not to invest in the stock market and as an aside, how to behave like uh, one of the great science fiction characters of all time. Uh, remember to subscribe and uh, talk to you soon.